good morning um, just heading on the way to this morning's location um, which is somewhere I went last year just after the first lockdown um, which I'll give you more details about in a minute but I just couldn't help stop and get this shot with the bit of color in the sky reflecting up through up through the reservoir here um, so gonna have to be quick because I'm actually where I'm not really permitted to go it's meant to be fisherman access only but I don't think I'm hurting just taking a taking a couple of quick shots uh, before I before I move on so stick with me and then I'll explain the true purpose of this week's video so my composition I've got for this shot are these reeds here in the foreground and then the reservoir leads off on the diagonal <coughs> towards the um, towards the right hand corner top corner um, clouds getting thicker on the horizon so we're losing the color now so take a couple more shots and then I'm going to move on and start walking up to my intended location this morning. Okay, that, um, that shot may have worked out to be a bit of a bonus because where I'm heading now um, is a bit of a gamble, really. Um, maybe a few weeks too early, but came up here just after lock the first lockdown and found a lovely area of um, wild garlic. So um, I've just returned come up early morning to try and get some early morning light rays breaking through onto the bed of wild well, garlic if it's there if it's not then you'll be seeing the shots I got last year but um, anyway I'm gonna walk on up over got a bit of a route planned and to do a bit of a circular route so I'm sure there's gonna be other stuff to other stuff to see anyway so Gonna walk on up over and see if we can see this better garlic. So, see you in a bit. One thing that um, landscape photography and woodland photography in general has really taught me is when you're out walking, don't stare at the ground in front of you. We tend to sort of walk, looking at the ground about 10 feet in front of us. But look up, look around you. Just keep turning around, 360 vision. Just keep seeing what's, what's going on around you. Just see what jumps out, what you see, what your eyes are seeing as you turn around if there's a subject there it'll hit you in the face straight away you don't need to necessarily try to just just keep looking around and the subjects will appear let's hope we find some this morning
Okay. Don't think we're going to be in a lot of luck. So I can smell the wild garlic. This is this all wild garlic leading up through this path here. Um, further up is the big bed that I'm heading to. But um, I'm obviously a couple of weeks too early. The colder weather's stopped it. It's not um, not out in flower just yet. So. Uh, so unfortunately I don't think we're going to get some wild garlic shots. So I will put up the one I took last year. Um, we will continue walking. See what else we can find. We do have some primroses out. Um, they don't excite me too much. We may get a couple of photos. But we're in a woodland area. Walking around. Nice morning. Sun's just breaking up through now, so we'll carry on walking and see what else catches our eye. Okay, given the fact it's early morning and I'm not sure what we're going to see, but I've had so many missed opportunities where I haven't had camera in hand with a long lens on in these situations. Um, with wildlife etc not particularly a wildlife photographer but it's always nice to catch something if you if you see it um, so I've put the put the longer lens on I'm going to carry the camera handheld and just in case the opportunity arises because I'm in this situation it won't anyway but I know in the past I've missed many a shot so uh, of, of deer and wildlife of some sort because I haven't had a camera out ready. So just in case today I'm prepared. Okay, so I was just aimlessly wandering around in this wooded area here, trying to find a composition. I think there's got to be something. And then all of a sudden, boom, that light, sunlight broke through onto the sides of these trees. And things I couldn't see suddenly became illuminated. And so I've gone for a composition now with um, that tree to the left on the left hand third and then I've stuck one on again on the right hand third I've just moved around a little bit just to get some separation from them um, and I'm slightly underexposing because it's quite dark. if I if I expose the correct it, it's overexposing the highlights so I'm exposing I'm slightly underexposing, and um, and then to give me the composition, to give me the lighting I'm I'm looking for. Yeah, quite happy with this one. Quite happy with this one.
Oh well, not every um, photo trip can be can be successful. Um, pleased I stopped and got that shot across the reservoir at the sunrise this morning. Um, obviously the wild garlic let me down where it's not quite ready yet. Um, but we can return in a few weeks for that one. Um, stuck a long lens on, as expected. Seen nothing. Not a squirrel, not a deer, not a pheasant, nothing. I can hear them, but I've not seen any. And um, so yeah, so I'm just walking back to the truck now. Looks like it could be it for the day. Uh, so I'd like to take the opportunity to thank you again for uh, taking the time out to watch my channel. Hope you like the content. Um, if you do, just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to keep up with the latest content. And um, drop the video a like down below. If you would, that would be much appreciated. And leave me a comment of anything, any content you might like to see, any um, locations in the Southwest you'd like me to uh, check out. Um, anything at all just drop me a comment below it's always nice to get some feedback so till next time take it easy okay just as i said i hadn't seen anything and then we come across this herd of deer you see me now i've managed to get a couple of shots before they scarpered but lucky enough to catch them